Alrighty, here we go with part four of our video lecture for chapter number 16. So we've been looking at the arrival and the, of the Europeans and the subsequent conquest of the New World uh, at the hands of the uh, Spanish, the Portuguese, English, French, and Dutch. Uh, and a similar process is going to play out in the Pacific Ocean throughout Oceania where Europeans are going to slowly start uh, to discover and explore these territories, all those you know, hundreds and hundreds of little islands dotting the Pacific Ocean, and eventually they're going to go in and conquer. Um, so there's going to be a lot of different uh, explorers that are going to make their way throughout um, the, Indian, uh, the Pacific Ocean, right? And... Um, what we need to know is, first of all, the kind of, when it comes to Australia, right, um, the first people to kind of like reach Australia, first Europeans, of course, uh, to reach Australia were the Dutch. And when they found, or when they got to Australia, uh, they encountered the Aboriginals. Remember, the Aboriginals are the indigenous native people in Australia. And remember, these people that, you know, they're still living a hunter-gatherer, uh, lifestyle. They still are living in, in that type of uh, technological world. And so the Dutch get there and to Australia and see that, you know, these aboriginals have really don't have anything to trade. Uh, they're not cultivating spices and, and, and other stuff like that. So the Dutch find little interest, little incentive, any, you know, any reason to settle down. Uh, so they just keep, you know, going on their merry way. Now, later on, by the 1700s, we see the arrival of the British into Australia. And the guy who discovered Australia on behalf of the British was Captain James Cook. And Cook uh, had explored and found other places like New Zealand and, and Hawaii right, on behalf of the British uh, Empire. Um, and at first, the Australia was used as we call a penal colony, which is a prisoner colony. So all the you know people when the prisons were overcrowded back home in Great Britain, uh, they'll start sending people to Australia. But eventually, Australia will become a major colony for the British Empire uh, because it does have a ton of natural resources. Uh, but they're going to be focusing a lot on, on uh, herding of sheep and, of course, of agriculture. Now, remember, the Spanish have been sailing back and forth across the Pacific for a very long time um, as part of their Pacific silver trade, uh, Pacific Ocean silver trade. Uh, remember, the galleons, these huge Spanish cargo ships, uh, would sail from the Americas to the Philippines, um, and they would uh, trade for Chinese goods and then sell back to Mexico, where they would be uh, launched and they were sent again uh, back home to Spain. So the conquest of Oceania uh, is going to take place at a much slower pace. Uh, so remember, Pacific Islanders were also isolated from Afro-Eurasia just like the Native Americans in the Americas were also isolated. Uh, therefore, they're going to have the same vulnerabilities to the diseases as those people um, from the New World. Uh, so Pacific Islanders, when the Europeans start arriving, uh, they're going to suffer from disease, they're going to suffer uh, from smallpox and stuff like that. Uh, the problem was that, remember, Oceania is widespread, so the population isn't condensed as it would be in places like, say, Mexico and Peru. So you're not going to see a drastic, dramatic drop in population uh, in Oceania. It's not going to be sudden as it was in the New World. Uh, so it's going to be much slower, the conquest, uh, but equally... Uh, destructive in the, in the form that the populations are going to suffer from disease, from these foreign diseases. And eventually the Europeans are going to claim ownership of multiple islands throughout the uh, Pacific um, Ocean. And that's pretty much it for part number four. Thank you for watching once again. 
And I'll see you next time for our next chapter, chapter 17, about Africa. I know, right? Super exciting. <laughs>